The story of the South China Sea disputes takes shape in the center of Southeast Asia, where crystal clear waters meet complex political issues. This oceanic area, nestled by the coastlines of several states, has evolved into a stage for complicated diplomatic tactics and conflicting territorial claims. Tensions between nations fighting for dominance rise and fall like soft waves kissing the coast. Trying to assert their sovereignty, China, the Philippines, Malaysia and Vietnam have occupied islands and shoals in the South China Sea over the past six decades. In some cases, they have reclaimed land and built military bases on them. Amid international conflict, fishermen cast their nets in disputed waters. Islands play the role of pawns in a geopolitical chess game, with historical accounts attesting to their strategic importance. The South China Sea is a striking mix of blue waters that is tucked between the Asian continent and the Pacific Ocean. It is surrounded by China, Vietnam, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Brunei, and covers a sizable area. This nautical gem has a maze-like network of islands, each of which whispers a different ecosystem story beneath the waters. Its geographic attraction is further enhanced by the vital Strait of Malacca, which acts as a maritime gateway. If you delve into the past, the South China Sea tells a captivating story of historic trading routes, cross-cultural interactions, and territorial disputes. Tensions of today stem from the centuries-long legacy of seafaring families entangled with imperial ambitions. Historical claims continue to echo, weaving a complicated web of territorial complexities that continue to influence modern geopolitics. The South China Sea is bustling with economic activity, in addition to its natural beauty and historical significance. Beneath its surface lie vast deposits of oil, natural gas, and profitable fisheries that attract nations with the prospect of wealth. The vibrant maritime trade channels that navigate this region are essential to the regional economy and promote interdependence. The South China Sea has become a sought-after arena where nations compete for dominance, each hoping to obtain its share of this aquatic treasure trove due to the tremendous economic stakes involved. With several countries staking claims to its islands and waterways, the South China Sea is a geopolitical battleground. China, Vietnam, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Brunei are important participants. Every country contributes a unique fabric of past events and present goals resulting in a patchwork of territorial concerns that frequently collide in diplomatic settings. The South China Sea is a maze of overlapping claims that create a delicate dance of sovereignty. Conflicts emerge concerning the historical and geographical claims of several nations to the Spratly Islands, Paracel Islands, and Scarborough Shoal. Tensions are heightened by rival territorial claims, which turn this large marine region into a battlefield of conflicting borders and overlapping interests. The complexity of these assertions contributes to the richness of diplomatic discussions and global affairs. Resources that are highly sought after beneath the waves give rise to territorial disputes and aspirations for financial advantage. Nations are drawn to investigate and make use of the region's resources, which include large fisheries, natural gas and oil deposits, and potential mineral wealth. National efforts to gain access to these essential resources become the impetus for territorial claims as resource exploitation takes center stage. The pursuit of economic benefits is closely linked to geopolitical aspirations, resulting in a fragile equilibrium whereby the race for resources intensifies territorial disputes in the South China Sea. Like a political chessboard, the South China Sea is the scene of complex moves made by countries trying to protect their interests. High-stakes talks, negotiations, and diplomatic exchanges take place on a variety of platforms. Countries adopt a variety of tactics to resolve territorial disputes and reduce tensions, ranging from bilateral discussions to regional conferences. However, because of the constantly shifting dynamics that combine national pride and strategic objectives with diplomatic complexities, progress is frequently hard. International mediation shows promise in the search for a solution. Tribunals such as the Permanent Court of Arbitration serve as forums where countries look to the legal system to resolve conflicts. Significant instances, like the Philippines' Vera China lawsuit in 2016, highlight how important international law is in determining the course of events. Nonetheless, obstacles continue to exist since not all countries voluntarily submit to arbitration, and enforcing decisions is still a difficult task amidst the waves of diplomatic tensions. Pursuit of justice and commitment to international rules remain crucial pillars. Global powers have an impact on diplomatic issues in the South China Sea by casting their shadows there. To ensure open waters, the United States, 
which has strategic interests in the area, carries out freedom of navigation operations. Well, Secretary Carter uh, has done this previously when he attended the Shangri-La Dialogue in June of this year. He was on a P-8 surveillance aircraft flying over the Malacca Straits. So it is not unusual for the United States Secretary of Defense to be on a military platform out in the South China Sea demonstrating to the region that the United States has a, an abiding interest in peace and stability in the region. China uses its military might and economic might to demonstrate its supremacy in the region. Stability maintaining regional actors such as Japan and Australia participate in diplomatic discussions. The way key actors interact changes the story, complicating diplomatic attempts and affecting how the South China Sea disputes develop on the international geopolitical stage. Beneath the South China Sea's glittering surface, Fishing communities are unknowingly participating in a game of geopolitical chess, a struggle for survival. Conflicts over marine borders result in confrontations between fishermen from competing countries, often involving the imprisonment and seizure of boats. Customary fishing areas become disputed seas, upsetting the fragile equilibrium that coastal populations rely on to survive. These conflicts have far-reaching consequences that go beyond geopolitical boundaries and have an impact on the livelihoods of those who live near these seas. Amid geopolitical stance, the South China Sea's ecological heartbeat faces danger. Environmental degradation can be attributed to resource extraction, territorial disputes, and militarization, because they are essential to marine ecosystems. Coral reefs are harmed by overfishing and the effects of construction. The delicate equilibrium of this unique maritime environment is put in danger by oil spills and catastrophic events. Concerns regarding the long-term health of the seas. Ecosystems are growing along with tensions, impacting not only the marine species, but also the communities that depend on them for survival. Amid geopolitical unrest, human stories become moving tales of adaptability and resiliency. The unsung heroes are the fishermen traveling disputed waters, the families that depend on the sea for their daily needs, and the communities caught in the crossfire of territorial conflicts. Their lives are examples of the significant influence that geopolitical decisions have on day-to-day -day living. These narratives serve as a sobering reminder that the South China Sea disputes have real-world consequences that go beyond political rhetoric and maps. They influence the stories of people and communities that are fighting to preserve their way of life in the face of constantly shifting geopolitical tides. A complicated web of conflicting interests, history, and geography is being woven together in the South China Sea. The necessity for cooperative solutions becomes more and more obvious as long as diplomatic tensions remain high and maritime communities are severely impacted. In this volatile maritime domain, harmony in the future depends on striking a balance between geopolitical aspirations and environmental sustainability. That was it for today, guys. Thank you for staying with us. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and do not forget to subscribe for more amazing content.